the animal that was just published this week is, uh, is a new genus and species of a, of a dinosaur called a hadrosaur, which people might know is like a duck-billed dinosaur. And so uh, these are big herbivorous dinosaurs. Uh, you can see some of the bones here lying in front of me from the skull. When all the, the skull bones were complete and put together, the skull is probably about, about this long. And what we see here are a couple of recognizable bones from the face. So this is, the, uh, this is one of the, the, the bones from the right cheek, and you can actually see the teeth. Uh, exposed here uh, along the tooth row. So they've got these flat grinding surfaces where they would have been cutting plants against the lower teeth. And one of the things that was really novel about this particular animal is, is the way the, uh, the bones of the lower jaw are shaped. They've got um, uh, a shovel chin. Very commonly these, these dinosaurs have uh, a wide flat beak, kind of more like a duck, whereas in, in this specimen the way the lower jaws uh, go together here, it's, it kind of makes more of a scoop or a shovel, and that's, that's uh, what gave this animal uh, its name and how they helped identify it as a new genus, um, as, a, as a unique animal. When looking at anatomy, uh, most animals have very similar body plans. We share a lot of the same bones that these dinosaurs have, uh, have in their skulls. And so we're able to look at, at kind of the vertebrate body plan, and, uh, and it does some really exaggerated things. But even just finding individual pieces of it, we're able to recognize uh, often, and in part because we have these huge libraries of fossils, you can pick up a fragmentary piece of bone and compare it to something that we have in these drawers that might be more complete. And that helps us fill in that story. 